Lawrence Fox has uh, put out a tweet saying, I am out. When words mean nothing, we can't talk anymore. See you later. I will be back when it matters. Goodbye. Uh, it sounds a little bit like Mary Poppins. Um, and, uh, and, and, and I'm sorry, really, because I think Lawrence has a lot of spirit and Lawrence has a lot of charm. I think he also says a lot of things that are wrong, but that's because he doesn't have very much um, good advice around him. I think his script writers are a little weak. Lawrence is, a, is an actor, of course, and he depends on having a good script. If anybody can bring a script to life, it's somebody like Lawrence Fox. And, uh, uh, and, and he's been badly supported. But uh, that said, all that said, um, he's also been very foolish. And and I am sorry because I think um, I think that diversity of opinion, even opinion I don't like, is good and is enriching to our social debate. And uh, I I I, w I would commend him for his efforts. I also think um, he raises quite a lot of very good points about the fractious nature of our society and about the the trajectory. Um, on which we are, we are running, where words have been che cheapened, where there's some underlying meaning which may not be quite what we say, and when we are twisting the meaning of words, then we are in, in, in trouble, and we are using words increasingly as a code rather than for their clarity. And uh, I think the woke movement particularly has a lot to commend itself uh, insofar as principles of kindness, principles of empathy, goodness, care are good and are part, should be part of the structure of our everyday life. But that shouldn't come at the expense of distorting the real meaning of words and the real meaning of our language and when we uh, I, I, I think the problem with the woke movement is the development of a sloganizing smugness uh, in the political classes and in the nature of debate uh, and a determination to confuse process with solution and so on and and this is all over the political system, whether it's national or international. And uh, the sort of um, paper tiger thing of if you don't accept this solution or this process, then you reject the whole thing. <laughs> that is nonsensical. And if you don't like, if you, if you like this person who says something horrible, then you must be part of their team. What utter rubbish. If we don't listen to people, if we don't listen to people who don't share our views, then we cannot progress. And then we cannot, um, we, we cannot come to any sort of arrangement or agreement. This is really the problem that lies behind the two-year hiatus installment. Everybody installment should be punished, not rewarded, not given extra money for that insult to the democratic, to the political process. I, I'm sorry, we shouldn't confuse the word democratic with political. A democracy is simply one way of advancing the political process. It's our method of advancing the political process. So at the moment, yes, it's democratic, and it's our understanding of democracy. But there are other understandings of democracy, and there are certainly other systems beyond democracy. So again, our coded language. I fall into this habit all the time because I'm part of our society. I pick up the, um, uh, the niggarding chaos of our, our, uh, our degenerative language. Our, our language degenerates. Why? Because our language accommodates new ideas and new... Uh, ways of integrating it, but I, I think <clears throat> I think we need to put the reins on the woke invasion of language. I'm not suggesting we put the reins on woke as a concept, but the way woke is destroying 
is charging through our language is a problem. And when a judge has to go away, as Lawrence Fox pointed out like yesterday, when a judge has to go away and think about what is the definition of racism, I think it's a reasonable question. What is the definition of racism? It's like a platonic dialogue. And I don't think the answer is as easy as uh, a lot of people <laughs> might suggest. I'm sure that I'm sure the um, comment section is going to go wild over it. But uh, um, uh, racism and, uh, and 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 culture. How do we integrate? people into our society and and that is the fundamental question and um and 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 how do we how do we um what what does multicultural mean what does what does multiracial mean what does multilingual mean what does diversity mean all of these words are used interchangeably in the debate and i think they need a lot more um, of an examination. I, I remember Maya Tusi bringing up this distinction. Um, I, don't, I, I, I think it needs to be followed up significantly um, more thoroughly, more thoroughly, because uh, it's not clear. It's not clear, and the politicians don't want it to be clear. Um, the, uh, uh, the political debate is much happier when it's um, uh, enclosed in some sort of some sort of container, even a glass container of uh, miasmatic opacity it's, uh, where, where you can't see what's going on. And um, the people in Westminster are only too happy then. Lots of, lots of noise and no idea what's happening.